What can clients do to help keep the cost of their divorce down? Hello, my name is John the Breeden of the Breeden Law Office, and we serve families in Johnston, Hardin, Wake Counties, North Carolina, and have for over 20 years. The more you can do for your divorce attorney, the cheaper it is going to be for you. Things that are very helpful for attorneys that will help keep your costs down. Getting all of your financial records in order either before the first consult or shortly after you hire your divorce attorney. If you can get the last 12 months bank statements, the last 12 months credit card bills, the last 12 month mortgage statements, and any statements of any debt or asset, including the last 12 months of 401ks, IRAs, or any other assets that you have, so that the attorney can quickly obtain what your assets and debts are so that they can quickly start to determine what might be a fair outcome for you. A second thing you can do to help keep your costs down is not email your attorney every day. Write down a list of questions as they come to you over a two or three day period and send them in a single email every three or four days versus emailing your attorney every time a question pops into your head. Most all attorneys are gonna bill for emails. Most attorneys are gonna bill at least 30, 40, $50 for every single email you send them. And you can save a lot of money by bundling your questions into a single email versus sending your attorney a series of four or five, six emails every time a question pops in your head. Another thing you can do to help keep your costs down is listen to your attorney's advice as to what might be a reasonable outcome and a reasonable settlement. Most attorneys have been doing this a long time. They work in the, their local courthouses. They know how these things are probably going to go. They're not emotionally involved like you are because it is your family and your children. And they can look at it from a 10,000 foot view and give you a pretty good idea of what is probably going to happen. If you can stomach what's probably going to happen, you should probably listen to your attorney and take their advice. Because if you can get the case settled, it is gonna be a whole lot cheaper than going through a long drawn out trial and the discovery process leading to that. So to recap, things that you can do to help keep your costs down, gather all of your financial documents for the previous 12 months, before you meet with your attorney or shortly thereafter. Do not email your attorney every day and write down a series of questions and bundle your questions into a single email every three or four days. And the last thing you need to do to help keep your costs down is listen to your attorney when he gives you the advice as to what he thinks would be a reasonable settlement if he can get the other side to it and accept that settlement because that'll be a lot cheaper than having a long drawn out trial. If you would like to see about getting a divorce and what my office can do for you, you can give me a call at 919-661-4970 or you can reach out to me at breedingfirm.com where we will try to help you become the hero of your life story.